What is up, what is good? Wolf is here, and we have a brand new Let's Talk. This one is going to be on Terminator. Arnie is back in video game format, not just in Gears of War or Gears 5 with Sarah Connor and that, but now we actually have the Terminator showing up in Mortal Kombat. So this is uh, the version of Terminator that is basically based on the new movie um, Dark Fate, I'm pretty sure it's called. And uh, so it's it's old man Terminator. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a like younger version of the skin and everything. Um, also, I should probably do the introduction. Frostbite is in the background. Yep, somewhere. Yeah, some somewhere in in the mystical lands of of the internet, we have Frostbite on board with this. Um, so <laughs> when I when I say click the button, he we're both gonna click the button at the same time and get a nice little reaction um, of the trailer. And then I will probably go through. The only thing I can't do is do a slow motion uh, run back, playback of this because he does not see the video feed. Okay, so we are we're gonna get into this. We're gonna uh, check this video out for the first time ever. It's the first time I'm ever seeing it. I'm pretty sure Frostbite has not watched it either. So uh, let's do this. Uh, all right, one, two. Three, click it. The Johnny Cage. Yeah. God, he's old. <laughs> yeah. You are also a cyborg. No, just cybernetically enhanced. You will be terminated. So oh, no. actually get Arnie in there? No, just... that's not. It's, 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 a, it's a voice actor. Oh, damn. That was the smallest M4 I've ever seen. Yeah, he is he is definitely a tank man. Absolutely tank and man. And teleport, okay. Ooh, the teleport. Ooh, so that's good that's, scared. That, that's good that's good. He's got a teleport and anti air. Oh my god. Triple shotgun blast. Yeah, that was straight up from Ooh, the, I knew it. I knew it. We're going to see the exoskeleton in there. Uh-huh. Into backbreaker. Into... Ooh. So he's got some wrestling moves. Oh, oh, why you got to... Oh, why you got to do scorpion like that? Huh? Huh? I see that. <laughs> okay. That's really cool. Like, the, the teleporter is actually like a teleport move. Oh! Right in the balls. So he has a resurrection? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. He's Jason Voorhees. I told you this is what they were going to do with him. He is literally Jason Voorhees. He resurrects into a armor and then he beats your ass. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the thumbs, the thumbs up. up. <laughs> a lot of headbutts. Yeah. I didn't quite catch what he said. Ooh. Ooh. He sends you into the future. <laughs> oh, that's that's kind of great. You're next. The Terminator wins. That's great. What about his younger self? Terminator with teeth? I don't know about that. Yeah, that's just now. That's 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 a little weird. T eight hundred early access October eighth. <gasps> that was a you ah! go. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! All right. So there is an actual extra thing that I gotta check out here because as you just seen, Cassie Cage has a Harley Quinn costume, which that was actually pretty awesome. I'm gonna go back and do a breakdown uh, in a minute, but there is actually a video on Twitter right now featuring the second version of the costume for Cassie Cage, which oh my god, I was in I was in a couple chats uh, and I was saying like in the actual Nether Realm chat room uh, on Twitch and another streamer's chat room, uh, the dude's chat room there, and I was like, hey, guys, you got to give us some more Cassie Cage outfits. And everybody's been complaining like hell about 
not enough Cassie Cage. And I said, how about Harley Quinn? Um, there is the Birds of Prey movie coming out, just like Dark Fate. The Birds of Prey crossover into Mortal Kombat, and uh, this is what is about to happen. All right, so uh, Frostbite, three, two, one, hit play. Oh my god, yes. I'm just waiting for it to load. Here it goes. What? No roses? Just guns. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, wow. 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 It's even... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That what? looks no roses? great. No, just guns. No yeah. Roses? It's actual like voiceover lines and everything. Welcome like to the Ah Alright, let me uh, let me mute the video. I am I am about to do a so bad of a breakdown right now. So Cassie's got the full on full on white paint. She also has a choker on, which we if you're part of the dudes chat, you know the joke behind that. Um, <laughs> so her her white and gold gun, absolutely the the Harley Quinn special, and you also notice that it's white and gold on the uh, on her little drone there. So they did a little bit of a little bit of a skin for the drone also. That I say, okay. So so much to take in right now. So fingerless gloves, one of my one of my all time favorite things. But Cassie's Harley Quinn costume is also customizable because we've seen like shades and stuff was was in just the last trailer for the Terminator trailer. But then on top of that, too, this costume is reminiscent of the costume that was on Injustice 2. Now, if if anybody's watching my videos from the Injustice 2 era of me doing fighting games, you know that this was actually one of my favorite costumes. And then I, of course, did like the short shorts and the tank top and all that stuff with Ka with, uh, with Harley Quinn um, just to divert people's attention so I could beat them online. Uh, it worked a lot of times. But on top of that... It's Cassie freaking Cage. She finally has a new outfit. Like a proper good outfit. Something that I was asking for. For the Harley Quinn crossover with Cassie. Now, I didn't get the Harley Quinn DLC. That's fine. I still get to play Cassie Cage as a badass looking Harley Quinn. I love it. So uh, so the white and gold gun is reminiscent of, of course, the uh, I'm pretty sure the Birds of Prey comic book lineup. Um, now, she doesn't have her mallet, so that's one thing that I'm wondering if they might cross that over somehow. <clears throat> um, I think, let's see here, Cassie has, trying to remember, uh, it's, I've, it's been like, what, a month since I've actually played MK, MK11. Um, I'm pretty sure Cassie still has baton in MK11, if I remember right. I'm not, I know she has an MKX, I actually can't remember an MK11, oops. Um, I, I main this character, and I can't remember if she has a baton. But anyways, somewhere maybe they can fit the fit the uh, the mallet. Um, definitely the 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 gun is going to be there for uh, her, you know, her her poop pew pews and everything. Poop poop pew pews. Yeah. Um, they got the the diamond, the the Joker diamonds tattoos up there. So this is very much like the movie style. Uh, what else we got here? We back this up one more time. So the very like uh, um, not really the Batman look. So this the, the the Harley Quinn look is not really the Batman look like in Justice Two. It's it's kind of like her um, her daytime detective job that she that Harley Quinn tries to get into or something like that. I was I just watched a, a little bit like half of the Birds of Prey trailer and she's and Harley Quinn says like. Well, me, me and Mr. J, we broke up, so now I'm trying a different you know, route of, of work or something like that. And she ends up going into, like, I think she tries to be, like, a detective for a minute or some shit like that. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's just it's awesome seeing this. I hope no. maybe we get, like, two very very <clears throat> of, of the See costume. what happens is if they didn't break up, if, if you've seen that, that bit on uh, Facebook or whatever, it's like, like Joker, like, He's gonna say for something and gets it's hmm. squashed by it. She goes, Putin, and Batman's like, probably is now. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what happened. <laughs> so, again, also, we hear just guns. Welcome to the jungle. I'm really wondering 
if those were pre-recorded or, or or recorded afterwards by this by Cassie's um, uh, voice actress, um, I do know that the Terminator is not Arnold Schwarzenegger. It is a stand-in. I'm very sure that was the final word on it because there was like uh, word going around that whether or not it was actually Arnold or not. I'm pretty sure it is not. It is a a stand-in. And you can kind of tell it's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. His yeah. voice is off. Um, it come with me if you want to live. Like it doesn't. It doesn't. And he never said that. I'm like, what? What? We did get the thumbs up. Um, so that was a nice little little thing. Uh, if I remember right, that thumbs up is from Terminator Three, where where he's saving young John Connor, and he's like, you should smile more, or something like that. And he's like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> The shotgun also, like him walking forward with the shotgun, is definitely reminiscent. Let's uh, let's bring the trailer back up. That's uh, Terminator Two. Terminator Two, when when uh, at the Sarah's... arcade when he's got the box of roses. Yes. Yep. Um, and then like the the actual like move itself, though, I think when when he's walking for, I don't know. To me, my brain went to um, uh, when Sarah Connor's in the in the psych ward. And he's like moving forward, shooting the uh, the, the other Terminator, mm-hmm. the Liquid Terminator, M- Mr. Liquid Gold, the smallest ever M4. My God, this thing is the size of a pistol. <laughs> like, jeez. Uh, so very curious enough. So he actually just, if you see right here, boom, he blocks Johnny's like grab. Or uh, he he blocks uh um oh Jesus the names of characters are getting away from me um Jax Kano Jax Jax yes um so he blocks Jax's grab and then he goes into basically a parry move and and then throws his ass which is kind of great but how much we have dealt with with bullshit grabs on a line and everything. Uh, so Kano gets the straight up anti air. So he's just walking forward right there. He even has the uh, the spin around shotgun right there. We see the exo skeleton. So that's what I was kind of thinking was we would get um, exo skeleton t- instead of regular skeleton, which just makes sense. Um, but the very interesting part about this whole thing is totally the fact it is it is a nice little easter egg that they did the uh the teleporter is actually a teleport mm-hmm. so the interesting thing right here is they totally dropped in the actual animation and everything from jason Voorhees off from mk11 with the armor move he resurrects he's he goes i'm a fucking terminator starts running at or walking at you and it just gets ready to beat your ass. Mm-hmm. Kaboom. Shotgun to the face, throw him into the ground, smack and headbutt. I actually I like this like blue jeans, black jacket, the uh the the dark fate kind of look for him too. It's, it's actually pretty nice. Teleports your ass into the future where the terminators are just ready just to blow you away. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go for the headshot with that. Yeah, well, he's probably going to have some other. I wonder. If oh, he's, that's if right, he's too. going to have a brutality or a fatality, like, like, it, 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 like teleport you over to, like, the, the metal factory. The liquid yeah. metal factory. Yeah. And then th- you fall into the pit. The outro. And the thumbs up. Yeah, there's probably an outro for it. Um, I, I, You just remind me that there's a bunch of outros and everything. So double feature skin pack. So we we're going to have a Johnny Cage all dressed up in a tuxedo. All right. Sonya once again gets another outfit. Um, that's probably the Sarah Connor outfit right there, to tell the truth, because it does actually look very military, uh, but futuristic military. So that's probably going to be the Sarah Connor outfit. Um, something to do with the movie. And then we have really randomly that looks like it's supposed to be a Terminator outfit but it, it just looks like uh, uh, Cyber Boy from uh, in the Justice League there the hell's his name Cyborg Cyborg yeah there we go <laughs> I, I, uh, I always call him Cyber Boy so I forgot what his actual name was um, so yeah Kano looking like like Cyborg 
Right. That I mean, it's basically just a reskin from Injustice 2 put over top of Kano. Fine, whatever. Um, Johnny actually, now that I'm thinking about it, actually looks like a reskin of the mobile unlock for Cassie Cage's MKX skin that she had, where the the, the fancy dinner outfit that she had. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. And then, oh my God. So, Cassie dressed up like Harley Quinn is absolutely going to have some extra little collectible stuff on top of just the outfit because she is wearing sunglasses right there. She's not wearing sunglasses in the other little video that they dropped for. Her. Um, and her, uh, her gloves are different too. So I'm guessing, you know, because Cassie got, you know, just the shaft treatment of just not even getting any, uh, any real different, you know, outfits, I think they're going to be pouring a bunch of stuff in the Cassie cage, which is awesome. Um, the other big update for M MK11 is the third variant, and uh, and like Shang Soon just got a variant, basically a third variant, where it takes all three spots in the move list, and then you can become any ninja on the fly that you want to, all at once. Which is something that should have been there from the get go, but yeah. Um, I think they just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be OP as all hell, which, I mean, in all honesty, Shang Tsung should be OP. Um, he can literally steal everyone's powers and use it against them. He should be a little OP, but the way that Shang Tsung moves and just, to, you know, his, his speed and everything, yeah. So, uh, anyways, this has been a Let's Talk. This one's going kind of long. And, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. Terminator, I will definitely be doing a stream of MK11. Hopefully, maybe we can get Frostbite in on MK11 also, do uh, do out. some online practice, get my skills up <clears throat> while, and then yeah. before I go online. Um, and, then, and then he can check out all the brutalities and everything. We also, we need to do a stream where we check out all the brutalities of all these different characters now that we have them all unlocked. Because there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of funny moments that we have not even oh, yeah. seen yet. The one, so. that Raiden one that I was telling you about. Yeah. Where you like, plan them. <laughs> I thought that man, was pretty good. Uh, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be great. So, anyways, we got, we're we going to have It'll some more great. combat streams coming up. We're also going to have a Soul Calibur stream coming up sometime. I'm going to make sure <sighs> we, that we make that happen. And uh, I will also be playing some more Power Rangers over on the Xbox. And, yeah, I got some, I got some fighting games coming up very soon. Anyways... Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. You can check me out on the Twitch, like I said. You can check out Frostbite on there also. We should be doing a co-stream whenever uh, whenever Ghost Recon decides to actually make their game work. Uh, uh, Ubisoft make the, their Ghost Recon game work. We should what is it going to be, Thursday? That. If it works, it's... Tomorrow's um, the second, Thursday's we'll, we'll third, fourth, Friday. We don't even know if it's going to work be... on launch. That's the thing. Yeah. Um, but anyways, that's a whole different game. That's just something that we're going to be streaming um, so if you want to stop by and check it all out, then uh, then stop by, you know, Warwolf on Twitch or Frostbite. Uh, was it Frostbite underscore 84? Uh, I think it's Frost underscore Bite 84. Okay. Well, yeah. Check that out. And, uh, yeah. Also, you can check out uh, my social media on uh, Twitter and Instagram where I post a bunch of uh, game-related stuff on there, too. <laughs> Oh, I got a lot of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, we've got some good stuff going on in there. Oh. Like late. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you next time.